Good evening, and welcome back to the ham radio shack of uh, of KA4PNV. Uh, we have uh, amateur radio equipment in here and uh, CB equipment, and uh, and uh, we have some FM equipment up there. We also have a little set up in here for uh, for videos we do for uh, for uh, YouTube and uh, and uh, anywhere else they'll let us pedal I don't have but 15 minutes on this video so I'm going to try to move uh, move along here as fast as I can uh, this uh, um, evening we're going to be touching uh, on shortwave radio uh, some of you may be familiar with it, some of you may not be familiar with it. But we'll look over here at the uh, shortwave receivers I have here in a minute. We're going to go into a little bit more detail with them. I have two shortwave receivers uh, uh, there, and I also uh, have one over here on the, uh, on the shelf here. We're going to get this one off the shelf here. This is an old... Uh, uh, this is a grun dig here. Uh, this is a little radio here, but nevertheless, it's a good shortwave receiver. I think I probably paid about oh uh, maybe uh, twenty nine dollars for that at Radio Shack when I when I bought it. We'll set it on the uh, on the desk here, and uh, we're going to be touching this evening on shortwave radio, and also uh, we're going to be looking at uh, at virtual shortwave radio on the uh, on the computer. I have three, uh, how many computers I got here in the shack? There's one, there's, there's two there, and there's one over here, uh, that's a 20, 22 inch monitor over there, uh, uh, they're all Windows 7 except uh, this one here, which is Windows 8.1, I don't particularly care too much for the apps on, uh, on Windows uh, 8.1, but uh, but nevertheless, uh, we uh, we uh, uh, use it there. It's uh, it's good. It's a uh, it's a good operating system. I just don't like the apps on it. That's all. Some people probably do, but uh, but that's me. And like I say, we're going to be touching on shortwave radio uh, uh, this evening. Uh, some people, uh, I mean, maybe uh, if not familiar with shortwave radio, may uh, may be wondering uh, what shortwave radio is. Uh, uh, so, uh, so shortwave radio is known to be a hobby. Shortwave is better than uh, normal AM or FM radio because the frequencies is higher. Therefore, it can go farther, uh, range even around the world. Uh, SWL or shortwave listeners can eavesdrop on signals that the general. Uh, public normally doesn't receive. A shortwave listener can catch various channels from all over the world such as Japan, Moscow, Korea, France, Singapore and more. SWL offers music, news and various information over the world. Want to know in shortwave and, listen, and listeners can tune in to any station in the world and even listen in on messages sent by airplanes, pilots, astronauts, in short, uh, in a short wave, uh, listener can tune in to any station around the world. Also, it is possible for short wave and other uh, 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 once uh, it is portable short wave and other. Uh, is a full-size uh, shortwave uh, radio. This is a great hobby. I've been in it for about 25 years and I was trying to read off with a computer monitor over here and uh, it's a time to scroll off the screen here uh, and uh, uh, as you can see here I was trying to uh, trying to read off of my website here which is SW uh, period ka4pnv.com uh, 
if you're interested in going to that website. Um, so we was trying to read this message here about uh, shortwave radio and uh, um, and the various uh, uh, stations uh, that you can uh, that you can receive. Uh, so we're going to uh, to uh, set the tripod up here and look at some of the shortwave receivers that uh, that we have here in the shack. And uh, okay, we'll uh, we're going to set this camera up here, I believe. Uh, this one here. Uh, we got set up on a tripod here. Uh, it's almost looking right at me, but not quite. Okay, we're going to get back uh, to uh, putting the camera on the tripod here and take a look at some of the shortwave receivers. I'm already five minutes into this video. So we're going to uh, be back here in just a second. Okay, we're going to be taking a look at this, uh, this ground dig here. We use it uh, on shortwave radio, and uh, I got it about, I believe about three years ago at Radio Shack, and it's a fairly good receiver, uh, so we're going to cut it on here, and uh, here in just a minute, let's see, uh, let's see what it does here, maybe zoom it in here a little bit more, okay. Okay, so we cut it on here, and uh, see what it sounds like. To Radio China International, uh, uh, Radio China International uh, on the uh, on the ground, dude. Okay, let's see what um, the 
French Tourism Board has been working hard to convince uh, the company uh, which organized that. Okay, what we're, we're listening to now to is the, the, beginning, the, is the, the uh, 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 radio shop uh, so on the back side. There have been welcoming this big group very much. It's you, a, uh, you and me, we are talking about this. We would never have talked about this. It's a DX-160 uh, that we're uh, looking at uh, here now. Not so therefore, the company certainly is a good marketing track. But of course, you can't do this again and again. So it, 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 it's a well, curious uh, thing uh, to do. And we had before another company, the, uh, they were sending, I think, 1,400 people at the same time to Dubai. And well, the experience for the travelers of course we diminish because if the, uh, there are 5,000 or 6,000 people uh, walking around in one city at the same time, then we don't meet many of the people that we Okay, sure. we only have and a few minutes left here now. This is not something which can become normal. So we will uh, can be done often. take and a look at the... Uh, when, uh, so like this is found out again by another company, even though they send 1,000 people more, it will not be so much in the press. And of course, for the destination, if it's one time, it's okay, but if this happens every month, the other tourists will be annoyed because of oh, this big group. <laughs> Okay, with just a few minutes left all here now. About four minutes left before I go to 15. And I'll be over the YouTube limit. We're listening to the virtual uh, radio here on... Uh, and you can see the waterfall down there in the frequency. Uh, that we're on here. I'm watching the time here on the uh, camera, and we're at uh, uh, we're at uh, 12 minutes right now. So we only got a couple more minutes here. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and play this video out here because uh, we just got a couple more minutes on it. But this is coming off the internet here. Uh, this is the OIP Shortwave Radio. The program I'm using is called uh, uh, it's called Web SDR. You can download, you can l load the program from your web browser, uh, uh, WebSDR.org, and load it right on your browser, and it'll work right from there. Okay, we'll say uh, 73. This video is about ready to time out here, and I uh, hope you enjoyed the little tour here we had this evening with Shortwave Radio. Uh, thank you for uh, uh, for watching it there. This program is called Web SDR, and it can be uh, loaded right in your web browser at websdr.org. All you have to do is just put it right on the waterfall. We're going to go ahead and sign this video out here. So it's getting close to 15 minutes. So with that, we'll say 73 is to you, and God bless, and hope you enjoyed uh, watching the, uh, the video uh, here. Uh, uh, this evening.